protect your YouTube channel. Turn on two-step verification, make sure that it's not hacked and you don't lose all of your hard work. There's been an increase in YouTube channel hacks recently. Basically, just like Twitter, they're throwing up scams about Bitcoin, doing live streams, they're deleting all of your content. I know that I've created content for nearly three years on this channel, nearly 500 videos. If they all disappeared suddenly the next day, I'd be very upset. So I'm here to show you how you can set up two-step verification on your YouTube channel. So what you need to do is go to the address bar and go to myaccount.google.com and this is where you'll have your normal account setups. You'll see any security issues that you may have, any privacy checks you want to do, but we're focusing on security on the left hand side. Now I've already got my two step verification set up and have done for many years. So what I'm going to do is switch over to a dummy account to show you the next steps. So here you go, you click on security, and you'll see that two step verification on this account is turned off. If you click there, it'll give you a screen that says get started. And it says that it will add an extra layer of security Enter your password and a unique verification code sent to your phone and it keeps the bad guys out. Even if someone else gets your password, it won't be enough to sign into your account. So click get started. I'll ask you to sign into your account. Now here it's going to ask your country of origin, which you'll see all of your codes here. These are your standard dialing codes. I'm obviously in the UK. You enter a phone number, which I will blur out here and it asks do you want to receive a text message or a phone call to verify your codes? There are other options in which a small physical device used for signing in or get a Google prompt on your phone. Time in, simply tap yes. I suggest text message because you're always going to have your phone on you. Click next. A text will be sent to your phone number. This code is randomly generated and starts with a G and a dash. You enter that code into the screen. It says it worked. Turn on two-step verification. Now you've seen that it works. Do you want to turn on two-step verification for your Google account as well? Okay, so click turn on. You'll now see here that via voice or text message, which is the default, every time someone tries to sign in, they will send a text to this account. And it has been verified and codes have been verified via text. Now you can click on the pencil and you can remove certain phones or change a phone number in which when you change a phone number you will have to go through that process again it send you a text you might want to use backup codes in other words a printable list of codes that you can sign in that you memorize that you maybe put in a wallet that kind of thing google prompts after you enter your password google will prompt to every phone that you're signed in a little message like is this you and at this point you just say yes this is me or no if you say no it will stop the verification process and they won't be able to get in. If you click yes, it will jump to your normal dashboard. Authenticate your app. Once again, you download an app. It would generate a code. When you go to sign in, it says enter your code. You enter that code into the website. Backup phone. If you lose your phone, here's another phone that you'd be able to log in with. Or you can have a security key. A security key is a verification method which allows you to securely sign in. These can be built into your phone, use Bluetooth or plug directly into your USB port. This is where you can have like a Trojan key. It won't let you sign in at all unless you've got that device attached to your computer. Next step, check out the rest of your security features. There's a privacy playlist here. And remember to subscribe for regular YouTube tips like this that can help you make better videos and look after your channel from those naughty, naughty hackers.